again. It's been a while since we did our last video, but I just feel at the moment we just need to be doing something um, in the house and around the garden that um, that keeps us busy at this uh, at this interesting time. So I thought we'd come into the garden on this sunny afternoon and pop some balloons full of water and just see if we can photograph the water hanging in the air before it before it falls. I mean, the good thing about this is it. It's pretty good fun, to be quite honest. You, you, you're going to get wet. Um, there's going to be water everywhere. You're going to be very careful with your, with your gear, but um, you can actually get some, some, some pretty interesting pictures. So what do we need to do this kind of photography? Well, the first thing I've, we've got is I've built a bit of a, a, bit of a frame out of a couple of light stands. Um, I've got a bamboo cane going across the top um, with a bit of, bit of wire on it. And on that wire, I've, I've just put a studio clamp and, and that's what I'm just going to hang my balloons on. I've got a good stash of balloons, which you can buy at pretty much any shop. So if you go for your essential shopping at Tesco, they do sell the balloons at Tesco. That's where we get ours from. Um, I've got two lights because what we're going to do here is we really need to freeze the um, the, the, the balloon in midair um, before it pops. But also, we do not want to have all this background. I've come for a fair, I'm, I'm stood in the shadow at the moment of our, of our house um, in our garden. We've got, we've got, you know, lots of space in the garden, but I've actually come into one little corner that's, that's currently in shadow, um, just to give me that little bit of extra, um, or a little bit of light to deal with. Because what I'm doing is, I've set my camera to some very interesting settings. So, first thing I did was I played around with my camera in manual, ISO 64, F8, but what I've got here is one four thousandth of a second. And what that's doing for me is if I take a picture with no speed lights, no strobe, then the frame is completely black. And that's really, really important. And that's the, that's the first thing you need to do when you, when you set yourself up. Get your camera out, get your balloon there, set your, set your frame up, and then take pictures with your camera on manual and just remove those settings down and down and down until the frame is completely black. And then what we're gonna do, once you've got that point, get your speed lights out and put your speed lights pretty close, or you can do this with one light. Um, it's a very sunny day today, so I've actually got two speed lights out. But you can do this quite easily with one light. And I've got each of the speed lights pointed at the balloon and these speed lights, the power is set to a half on each light and I've got it on the system using triggers. So I'm using my, um, these, are, these are Pixel King actually, and Pixel King triggers on, on the bottom of each of the uh, speed lights. Doesn't matter what speed lights you've got. I've got a, uh, a, a Nikon SB700 and this be SB800. Pre pretty good lights to be fair, I love them. Um, I actually prefer the 700 more than the 800, but that's just a personal choice. Um, but what, with these triggers, what that's gonna do is when I fire the camera, it will fire the light. And the only light in the frame, although it's daylight out here, the only light in the frame is coming from the speed lights. And what that's gonna do is that's, even though we, we're shooting at a 4,000th of a second, because the only light is gonna come from the speed lights, the speed lights are gonna go much, much, much more quicker than one 4,000th of a second. And that's really gonna freeze the motion of the balloon. Now, that's the camera settings. You are gonna get wet doing this. It is gonna be quite fun. So what, what you need to do is, you need to judge yourself between pressing the button on the camera and pricking the balloon with, with, your, with your pin. And you will get this wrong a lot of times because that happens so fast. And, you, and you've only got literally a four thousandth of a second to, uh, to capture it. So let's give it a go. This is a, a nice blue balloon. I've also got manual focus on, by the way, before I start this, I focus on the balloon, waiting for it to, st to steady itself, focus on the balloon, and then put, drop myself onto manual focus, just so that the, the, when I press that button, I know it's just gonna, it's gonna take that picture. So we're gonna be in and out quite quick because when that water hits the ground, there's a massive splash and it comes right all over the place. So three, two, one. There we go. I got wet then. So let's look at that image. Well, there we go. As we can see, we've got the, 
we've got the water kind of just hanging there in in, in mid-air just in just in space and and the and the balloon itself has contracted so fast it's just on one side of the image and uh, all that water is just beautifully just just hanging there in the sky in a, in a, in a dark background so okay so I hope, I hope you enjoyed that I hope that uh, that gives you something to do please have a go at that and uh, you know get the balloons get out in the garden get a bit of fresh air have a bit of fun get wet and um, we'd love to see your pictures so um, yeah take, take a few and post them below um, yeah See you next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please leave us some comments down below. There's a button just there as well that you can use to, uh, to subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to watch some more videos, try these two because uh, they've, uh, they've been picked from our channel that um, hopefully you'll enjoy those. Um, until next time, thank you very much for watching.